Oh hey guys, Brandon from Kintama Genius. Today I have an unboxing of the Purple Heart Kaizen. Alright. Oh, much respect on the inside of the box. Alright, that's cool. Alright, and here's well, here's the box. Comes with like a string pack inside. Right here. I'll open that later. But for now, here's the kendama. Comes in a clear plastic container. Let's see. Oh, I mean, these packages are always kind of hard to open. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. Here's the kendama. Purple Heart Kaizen. Nice. Alright, well, it's kind of looks purple in the camera but in real life it almost looks kind of grayish it looks a lot less purple in real life and then here's some grain kind of white grain but, I mean the color doesn't really matter to me so regular kaizen shape got the nice bevel alright feels pretty hard uh... alright Hey guys, here's the uh, string pack that comes with it. Let's see what you get inside. Alright, let's see. Oh, damn. You get like a, a bunch of Kendama USA stickers. That's nice. Kaizen stickers. Stringing tools. And you also get... A Kendama USA string pack. String pack. That's a nice black string. All right. Hmm. I mean, there's not really much else to show. I guess maybe I'll bring my Beach Kaizen and just compare it. But all right. So here's a comparison of the Purple Heart Kaizen and a Beach Kaizen. So. Beach Kaizen is worn in, so the paint's kind of messed up, and then the spike has moved, uh, cups have moved down. So that's about, cups will move down a little maybe. And in terms of weight, let's see, the uh, purple, purple Heart is at 73. Let's see. Purple Heart is at 73, and the the Kaizen's at 60, so it's about the same weight as a beach can, maybe like a dense beach can, but overall it's pretty nice, makes a nice sound. Yeah, and just another quick note about the Purple Heart Kaizen. Like something that you guys may not know, but something you may want to know before you buy it. This wood, it's like kind of coarse. Like, let me see. Can you see how you see those little holes in the wood? So it's kind of coarse, like when you feel it with your hands. It's not smooth, like maple. If you know what a maple kendama is, how it's really smooth. It's almost like the opposite of that. Little holes everywhere. It feels rough to the touch. But I mean, that's good for like. It's not super grippy right now, but I'm sure it'll be better when it breaks in, so. It's pretty, like, there, you could see all the holes, as opposed to, like, a beach kendama. I mean, there's little lines, but not really any holes, so. Just something to keep in mind if you want to buy one of these. But I'd say, overall, it's a pretty great kendama if you like the Kaizen shape. Just nice wood, natty. Alright. Peace.